this is a all the vibrations kind of settled down here we go again in the ring you notice these gentlemen i use the word very loosely advised <laughs> first time ever in the state of pennsylvania and in the spectrum here dog collar match the following bout is scheduled for one fall it is a special dog collar match ladies and gentlemen in this bout there will be no time limit no disqualification and no count out in this bout absolutely anything goes and both participants will be connected by a dog type collar linked together by a 15 foot steel chain and now ladies and gentlemen let me first introduce the manager from Osaka, Japan, Mr. Fuji. He represents from Sunset Beach, Hawaii, weighing 275 pounds, the magnificent Morocco. And ladies and gentlemen, soon to be entering the ring area, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Jump Yard Dog. Spectrum Rock and his grab them tape goes out over the airway. When Morocco came in the ring, he looked down at me and said, Bow Wow. <laughs> There comes the dog, he's got the chain with him. Mark, until you've been here in the spectrum to watch it live, you ain't seen nothing yet. Here comes the dog. got to keep your eye on Mr. Fuji. He's got, well, we saw him use his cane last time. In fact, Morocco, Morocco wound up by breaking the cane. Uh, this junkyard dog, he's in his own backyard, so to speak. He's got the cane around his neck, and he feels very comfortable with Morocco, I don't know. We'll find out. He doesn't even want the collar to be put around him. Fuji outside the ring. Look at this. The dog's going to wrap it around his neck. Now he's got to attack it. He is right now. He's got to lick. Well, Don Morocco maybe doesn't like it, but he's hooked up now. At least just about hooked. He oh, is he's hooked on up. there. There's no escaping now. Look at the big smile on the dog's face. Yeah, he says, hey, man, you're in my territory now. Off the top, turn buckle. Again off the top turn buckle. Morocco looks like a pit bull with that thing. Four, four, it. five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> John Morocco is wobbly. <laughs> he's not sure where he is, but he's outside the ring now. Morocco's not going to be able to go too far, though. Look at the dog take up the slack and that chain drags him right back in again. Well, so far, it's a junkyard dog's night. Well, Morocco may have bitten off more than he could chew here. But the dog's competitor. Because we've seen the dog let you hit him all night around the face and the head. He doesn't really care. Morocco tried to get out of there, but no way. He ran into the short end of the chain. And what? Well, the dog's going to hang him up here, I think. Yeah, look, so he's going to find him. Well, look, he's pulling the chain outside. Oh! Oh man, right off the top rope. Von Morocco's got no place to go. Just hanging there, no disqualification here, That's no right. time limit, That's no right. nothing. That's called defend yourself at all times. 
Ken Fowler's submission is all that counts in this match. Well, the dog let him go and release the pressure over that top rope. He's right back in again. Well, what's he, what's he up to? He's he wrapping around the various... Obviously, the Ropes. dog knows exactly what he's doing with the chain, and uh, Morocco does not. Oh, look at this. The dog doesn't have the chain on anymore. <laughs> so that's it. In fact, part of the chain is, uh, the next part is broken away at his end. Oh! Oh, man. Caught him right where he lives. He brought a forearm between the legs. Down goes the dog. Now Morocco pulling the chain inside the ring. This could be payback time for him. Look at that, got it wrapped around his fist and really unloaded right between the eyes of the oh, oh, look at oh, that man alive. Well, you say no holds barred. No time limit, anything goes. Now it's Morocco's turn. Wrapped right oh. around the throat of the dog. And the Morocco dog is choking him out here. Morocco with huge arms. These upper arms are like your, your thighs. All powerful. Referee stepping in, asking the dog if he wants to quit. He's not a quitter. Forget nope. it. But I don't know how much more of this he can take. Morocco really doing it for him. Chad going out here. JYD. He's got to get up, Dick, or the lights will go out in a hurry. Right. Morocco holding on for all he's worth. Well, yeah, yeah here's panic time. JYD, man, is just, he knows he doesn't have much more in this position. He's got to do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but he's got to make a move. Got to get to his feet, first of all, to alleviate that downward pressure and the leverage advantage. Oh! Well, turn all right. Is fair play. Yes, it is. In this case, the dog undoing the chain. Now he's free of the chain around his neck. Oh, Morocco, uh, forearm on the top of the head. Now the dog wrapping the chain around his Oh, He's usually has a brass set of brass knuckles. Look out. Oh, look at that Fuji from the outside. Tripping the leg of the junkyard dog. Still, that won't constitute a disqualification nope. either. Dick, there is go. no disqualification. Anything goes. Match. Here comes John Morocco off the top rope. Oh. Oh. He got the, caught. The dog wrapped the chain around his fist and held him up. And John Morocco came down and that. Oh, it's all over. Surprise movement. Look at this. Fuji attacking the junkyard dog from the back. But the decision's over. Ramming the cane right into the cervical vertebrae of the junkyard dog and now Morocco with the cane. And the dog using all kinds of ways to get away. Oh, he's got the chain again. And there goes Morocco. Morocco just knocked cold for a second there by the steel chain. Let's get the official word. Here is your winner, the junkyard dog. I predicted that the junkyard dog would be victorious. Here's how he did it right here. You don't play another man's game. And the dog collar match is the junkyard dog's game. Easy one, two, three, count by Morella, and it was over. Well, I think the dog's glad it's all over, and especially in his favor. Prisms to bring